Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and thank you for joining. Now in today's episode, uh, we're finally going to reveal the spuds, they're ready to come out, okay, we're going to show you show you all, your, all the spuds, all 30 of them. Now, when I show you this team, um, I remember yesterday, you would have watched, I hope, I'm hoping you did watch uh, in full uh, the part one. Because without watching this, you're not going to understand part two. And at the end of this video, uh, I'm going to explain to you uh, extra extra plans for this team, so you understand it even better. Okay, so I'm going to show you the team. You're going to you're going to. I recommend you actually sit down before you watch. Okay, if you're if you're sitting, if you're driving, uh, please turn this off. <laughs> if you're driving, do not do not listen. If you're driving, just come down. It's dangerous. So. When you uh, stop the car, go home, sit down, and just relax, okay? Buckle up, put the seatbelt on, and then you can watch it, okay? In case you fall off the chair. Okay, let's start. Now, as you can see, uh, everything here is empty. I emptied it all out, because I'm going to show you each player, okay? Each spud is going to be revealed. Well, like, there's a couple of big names. They're actually not spuds, okay? So, the first man is Nick Dacos, okay? Now, to be honest, I didn't want to start him. Um, but I have no choice. He's owned by 77% of people. He actually ruins uh, my structures because he costs so much. 650k. I'm very poor. So, but we got him. Okay. Um, besides the fact that he's a gun, uh, I was hoping to pick him up after his buy uh, because of the fact that he had uh, two tough games coming. But now yeah, I don't care. I don't care if he scores a 10 or, or, or a 150 right now because uh, everyone's got him. So it makes a difference. He's become a blocker now, uh, so it doesn't matter what he scores. Now, next up, okay, we're going to pass on Sicily, okay, we're going to pass on Stewart, we'll pick him up later on, all right, uh, if if we're impressed, okay, we're going to pass on Ryan, Sinclair, Houston, uh, Newman, we're going to pick up the Cheezels, okay, I uh, really like the Cheezels, and um, he's capable of scoring 50 points in a quarter at any given time. Okay, uh, in that North Melbourne defence, uh, he'll he'll get it. You know, he should go about one ten. Uh, I think by this year. So Chisels is a lock for me. Now, I really want Jason Short, uh, but I can't fit him in uh, because I'm having some financial difficulties right now. So Short can't come in. So we're gonna have to pass on Short. I mean, we have to make sacrifices. Not everyone can make it, uh, especially when you see the team. All right, I've made a lot of sacrifices for this team. Now, next up. We got Young. Now, Young comes into the team uh, because, firstly, he's well-priced, okay? Secondly, uh, I think he's going to have a big year. Um, he's almost one of Frio's best mid uh, midfielders now. Uh, tackling machine, and uh, I'm very impressed with Young, so I'm happy with him. So he's going to stay in the team. Now, they're my primos. I don't have any other primos in defence, okay? So we, we're going for three-man defence, we now move over to the midfield, okay? Now, in the midfield, uh, this year, money doesn't worry me, okay? Most years, I would say, I would um, not even think about getting a 700k player, all right? It's way past my budget. Uh, but this year, we're going to splash the cash, okay? Uh, Bont is in. He's in 49% of teams. Well, he's in my team as well, and he's going to be the captain. Um, next up, uh, we're going to pass on pretty much all of them here, okay? Because this is past our budget now. Uh, the two, most two expensive players in my team are Dacos and the Bont. Now, uh, Liba, I really want to get him, but I can't afford him. All right, He was in a couple of my teams this year, but he just ruins my whole structure. So Liba can't come in. And, uh, well, obviously, if Liba can't come in, neither can Dawson. So we keep going down. Even LDU uh, can't come in. Uh, he can't, uh, I can't afford him, or Butters. Uh, just They're just borderline past what I can afford. Uh, however... Tom Green is a must-have for me, okay? So Tom Green comes into my team. Now, I did have Lockie Neal in my last team I made. Uh, it was virtually uh, yesterday's team. Lockie Neal actually fitted in perfectly. Uh, but we're not going to start him, okay? Um, we're going to go down, further down, okay? And we're going to put in the weapon, okay? If, if you don't know who the weapon is, he's hiding somewhere, okay? He's very shy. Where is he? Where's the weapon? There he is. Rel. Okay, so Rel comes in the team. Uh, for me, uh, actually, 
Raul was in 2% of teams when I announced that he's the weapon. And now he's in 12% of teams. So I'm not sure if he's a weapon anymore, but I'll still call him the weapon because that's, that's the name I gave him. Okay, so Raul is still the weapon. Now, uh, they're the big guns. They're the big boys in my team, all right? Now, going further down, uh, let's keep going because we've got a very strong midfield, all right? Uh, we're going to pass on all these 500k gen uh, boys and gentlemen. And we're going to go into the 400k areas now. Now, first up, we're going to go uh, Nick Martin, all right? Now, Nick Martin is owned by 25%. Uh, it's going to be 25% happy customers. They're all going to be happy, okay? I, I can tell that Nick Martin's going to be a good boy. So, Nick Martin is in. Uh, next to Nick Martin... We're gonna have, and he's only got eight percent ownership, which is which is a shock to me. All right, um, is Matt Crouch? I'm predicting that he's gonna have the highest average in Adelaide team. Matt Crouch. That's that's how much I, I, I'm predicting Matt Crouch is gonna go. Okay, I've got high hopes for him. So I'm hoping that Matt Crouch can go at one ten plus. That, that's my aim. All right. Uh, if he goes at one hundred plus, it's okay. But I'm really hoping for one ten. Now, over here. We're going to go to Port Adelaide, and uh, there's another boy that I like, and he's, in a, he's got a higher ownership, 13%, probably because he's cheaper, and it's Ollie Wines. Uh, he's got the midfield minutes. Uh, it looks to be um, uh, fitness very good, so happy with Wines. So we'll bring Wines in. Now, we've got three primos, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're at the nine primos now, okay? Now, let's go to the rucks. I'm only showing you the primos for now. Now, at the Rucks, we got uh, Gorn. Even though we had that scare watching um, a Joe's video uh, from um, Center Bounce. But we're going to take the risk. Anyway. It's a gun. Okay, so got Gorn. Uh, th there was no announcements that he was injured or nothing. So he surely he's okay. So Gorn's in. And next to Gorn, we got Grundy. Okay, so the two boys. GG's. Okay, the GG's are in. Now, so now that make, that puts us up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 primos, okay? Now, over here, um, we're going to start off, uh, let's go further down, okay? Uh, our boy Flanders, he comes in. Now, if you take note, uh, we've got Green, Raoul, and Flanders all having the round three buy. Now, that doesn't worry me. Okay, I'm going to show you why in a minute. Um, th th this gives me no fear whatsoever. Nothing. Okay, I'm happy to start all three boys. Now, next to um, Flanders, we have Heaney. Now, Flanders, I'm bringing as a keeper. Heaney, I'm bringing as a possible keeper. Because uh, I think uh, there's nobody else in the forward line. So he's possibly a keeper as well. So And he's going to have a good draw. He's got a good start to the season, 144. Uh, he's got a Richmond game coming up, a West Coast game coming up. His price can skyrocket to 600. If it does, uh, that's a 150k profit. Uh, I'll probably trade him out and uh, when he gets a 600. And then buy back cheaper. Okay, it's not like the stock market. Just cover down. Anyway, so Heaney's in. And next up, we got, when I find him, from North Melbourne... And we're going to call him a primo because even though he's not priced like a primo, he is a primo, okay? And that's Fisher. Uh, because Fisher uh, is capable of scoring a 120 plus this year with the role that he's got. And you know how you know how North Melbourne has Zebu and the Cheezels and the Halls all go nuts? Well, Fisher can join that party soon. So, all up, uh, as you can see there, we have 14 primos, okay? And, and that's a lot. And... With the 14 primos, when you've got three players missing that buy around, we've still got 11 primos. Plus, over here, we've got another weapon, okay? And now, everyone's very shy to pick this boy, okay? They're very scared, okay? Um, they, they think I'm crazy, and I haven't, I've had many arguments on on, uh, on Messenger with, uh, with people saying, or on chat forums saying, you cannot pick this boy, okay? You, you, must, be, you must be crazy. And he's only owned by 8%. And that's Bonner. And there's no way that I'm not going to pick Bonner in my team. So Bonner is in. Now, I count Bonner as a 105 plus player. Okay, that's, that's, how, that's how much uh, I'm giving him. Now, 
if he scores anything are under a hundred, uh, I'm going to get rid of him. Okay, that's I mean, even though his price at two eighty four, which is cheap, uh, well, virtually his price, his price at fifty. Okay, um, but I think he'll go at a hundred minimum. Uh, that that's his target anyway. All right, so Bonner is in my team, so that gives me the fifteenth player that can go at a hundred. Now, it gets a bit complicated here. All right, because now I've got a, I've got two million left. And um, we, we had a shipment of um, all our spuds that arrived, okay? So we've got a few spuds to come in here now. Uh, first up, over here, we're still going for the heavies, okay? Now, these are the cheap heavies. We're going to bring in, uh, where is he, from the Frio team. Put down here, players I can afford. I can afford all of them at the moment, but it's going to drop in a minute. So players I can afford from Frio, Nat Fife, okay? Now, I'm going to go back to Bonner in a minute and explain to you his role also, because he balances the whole team, and I'll explain to you why. But first of all, let's talk about Fife. Now, if Fife, for some reason, um, doesn't look good, or if I see, all right, where's, where's the other boy from Sydney? That's Jordan. If I see that Jordan is performing better than Fife, I'll do a correction trade, okay? I have... Uh, there's no fear in doing correction trades because at the end of the day, you need to have the best team. And uh, if you're too scared to do a correction trade because you're going to lose a trade, uh, well, my name wouldn't be the Apps Magic. Okay, at Apps Magic, we use trades. Okay, now let's go back to the defenders. Okay, and over here from Carlton. Okay, and we're going to pick Zach Williams. Now, with this team here, all right, now how many players do we have? We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We have 17 players that are all capable on any given day. All right, I'm not saying they're going to average this, but capable on any given day to go at 100, okay? That's 17 players. Now, that's not bad. Now, I need them to all be at their best. On the best behavior in round one, it'll be nice. I'll be very happy. But that's our 17. The rest are all rookies now, okay? So we, how many rookies do, are we going to have? If we've got 17 primos, that makes that means we have 13 rookies, okay? Now, over here, uh, we're going to have, uh, where is he? Naismith. He's not playing, okay? That doesn't worry me because he's got a 93 in his, in his um, he's got a 93 in his system. There is there, 93. You can't take that out. Uh, when he plays the second game, uh, and, and let's say he scores a 50, and the next game he scores another 50. That's still 193 points in his system, and for a 123k player, he's going to go up, okay? So I'm happy to, to leave him there, and eventually he'll make cash. Uh, for the for the time being, he'll be a loop player for me. Uh, so he'll, be, he'll be, give me a good captain's options, except for this week, okay? Because he plays that first game. Now, over here, um, we go back to Richmond. All right, and we're going to pick... Now, these are all my expensive rookies, all right? And now we're going to pick... Uh, I'm splashing the cash right now. Uh, Josh Gipkus, okay? And um, Gipkus, because he's got a 76 in the system, my plan is to trade him out uh, in round three. Okay, he's going to go. Uh, unfortunately, um, that's going to be the end of Gipkus for us. However, we do have a problem with Gipkus. We may not start him, which I'll explain to you in a minute. Uh, now, that's Gipkus. Now, over here, all right, we go to Sydney, and we're going to have Matt Roberts, okay? Now, Matt Roberts, uh, I'm happy to hold him for a long time, all right, even after his buy. I'm going to hold on to him for as long as I can until uh, we have to move him out and upgrade, all right? We don't fall in love with the players, so eventually they have to go. Okay, we have to say goodbye to them. Now, so these are the 150 players, and I've got one more here. Now, this is subject to him being selected, okay? So I don't know if he's going to be picked, but I've allowed the cash for him in case he is going to be picked. And I have a strong feeling that he will be picked, and it's Finn McRae, all right? Now, if Finn McRae uh, is um, the sub, I'm still going to pick him, and I'm going to put him on the bench. Uh, it doesn't worry me that he's a sub, uh, because he's not going to be sub every week. They're not going to have Finn McRae be the sub for 22 weeks, okay? So eventually he's going to have to play. And when he does play, uh, no one's going to have the chance to jump on him. Okay, so he's going to go. He's going to fly in price. So I'd rather have him. And who, how many people own Finn McRae? 
Let's have a look. Uh, 12%. How's it that high? What's wrong with you people? Just come and deal. Anyway, 12%. I only can't believe that. Now, the rest of the rookies uh, are very cheap now. Now, we come over here. Let's get rid of... Okay. Now, over here, uh, we've got many options, actually. Back over here. We'll go to 123. Because that's how much our rookies cost now. Um, we're going to go... We could pretty much pick anyone, all right? But we're going to pick... Um, well, where is he? From Melbourne. House is one of them. Okay, and then we have Zach Reed. And Zach Reed comes in. And over here, we go to Hawthorne. And we have Phillips. Now, if Phillips doesn't play, we have a problem. Okay, if Phillips is not play, uh, there's no one left to bring in. Because then I don't have cash. Uh, unless I don't pick McRae. And then I could put... Um, actually, that's what I can do. Okay, I'll probably get, have to get rid of McRae and... And then put in uh, Co Co uh, Caulfield, whatever his name is, put Caulfield over here. And then McRae goes, but then I'll bring back McRae a different way, which I'll show you. Now, in our forward line, rookies. Who's left? Okay, we've got Sexton. So he comes in. So that's our forward line. That To me, that looks pretty strong, okay? Especially if McRae gets a full game. Uh, that's a strong team for me. Now, over here, uh, we're going to put Cadman over there. Next to Cadman is the Richmond boy. Now, if he is selected to play as a sub, I won't be picking him. Okay, so I'm only going to pick him if he's playing on field. And that's Campbell. Now, Campbell uh, is only going to play uh, one more game, and then I'm going to trade him out. So virtually, Gipkus and Campbell are going to be traded out. Um, now, over here, uh, who we got? What's left? Okay, well, we've got Wilson. He's going to come here. The reason I put Wilson in the midfield is so that when Green and Rowell are not playing, at least I've got, I've got a strong player that can cover for them, okay? And over here, um, I've got another strong player that can cover for them, and that's Jai Clark. And uh, he's also going to cover for them. So it will be Green and Rowell out, Wilson and Clark in. And in this spot here, uh, we've got Jackie Weir. Now, balance left is $0. I'm broke. Okay, so that's that's the team. Okay? Now I need to show you the plan. Because you're going to say to me, all right, where's Husswaite? Uh, where, where's, where's Sanders? Okay? Where, where's McKercher? Where's Reed? Where, where are all these players? What kind of team are you creating? Just come a deal. Now... I don't have any of them, okay? I don't, yeah, as you can see, I told you from the start, I'm not going to have any any um, any um of these big uh, rookies. I, I even posted on Twitter. I've, I've been telling you for three months so I'm not going to have them. Well, I, I've kept my word. <laughs> Actually, Sanders only just left recently, okay? But um, I want to get him back, but I can't. So here's the plan, okay? We don't, we're don't. we not going to start with them. But Gipkus, he, he may go to 200k, Right, so we've got 200k there, less uh, uh, Caulfield's price of 123. So it might be, uh, it might have 80k spare there. Okay, so 80k there. Uh, Weir is 123k. He'll go to 170. All right. Now this, you may find that hard to believe that Weir will go to 70 or what to 170, but he will because okay? he's done it before. Uh, in round three, he scored a, a, a 50, then two 60s. He went to 170 two years ago, and he's priced at 123k. So he'll do it again. So we have 80k there, uh, another f uh, 50k here. So we have 130k already spare, right? Then we have Campbell. Uh, who, well, yeah, 130k. Then we have Campbell um, here, another 50k, maybe even more if he scores another 70. So you're having, um, uh, let's say he makes 60K. So you've got 210K profit, okay? Now, it costs 60K to get Weir up, all right? So 60K to get Weir up to Sanders. So that gives me 150K left, all right? With that 150K left, I'm going to hold it, 
uh, I'm not going to spend it. I'm only going to get Sanders, no one else. Uh, if I want McKercher, if I really impress and I want McKercher, I'll get him as well, okay? I don't know how. <laughs> we'll work it out. Now, I want to talk about Bonner, okay? Um, he is the key to the whole team because you can see he's in the middle, okay? He's centered in the whole team. Now, let's take Bonner out of this team. So Bonner's gone. Let's say Bonner scored a 60, okay? and we're not going to pay 275k for a 60, right? So Bonner is a not good. Okay? We're, not, we're not happy with Bonner now. So what are we going to do? All right, Players we can afford. What are, what are our options if Bonner is no good? Well, we can go down to Jordan, okay? Go down to Lions. We can go down to uh, your boy, or Harley Reid or McKercher. So we can get anyone, okay? Plus, you've got extra 70k on him. So then we can turn Weir into anyone. So it's not a problem if Bonner fails. All right? We've even got Barry there, okay? So we've got, got many options to go down to. Now, the only change that I might make to this team, all right, I can remove Flanders from here. And what happened there? All right, Flanders is gone. Uh, let's just remove Gipkis for now, all right? I'll, I'll work out if we can come back. And remove Weir from here, all right? Now, I can put Yo in there. And this is the only change I can afford to make, all right? Well, there was one more, but that's not going to work. So I can put Yo. Where's Yo? All right, let's further down. Uh, I can put Yo in here. Now, Yo obviously doesn't have the buy, but the buy doesn't affect me, okay? So I've got enough to cover that buy. Put Yo in there. Uh, I could bring in uh, from the dogs because what this allows, uh, this allows me to get, if I really have to get McKercher, this allows me to get him. Because if I get, um, where's the dogs? I'm looking for beef or bulldogs, okay? Now, uh, if I put Sanders there, all right, then I can still manage with players I can afford. And we'll get the Adelaide boy, Burgess, okay? So it can still get done, right? We can still do this move. The only thing I'm missing out on is the cash from Gipkus, okay? Uh, but I get rewarded with Sanders. That's the difference there. Uh, I'm going to get Sanders' cash anyway. I'm, I'm, regardless, I'm still getting Sanders. You didn't see in my team, but I'm still going to get him. He was just going to arrive late. The, the bus was... He, he missed the bus. Okay, that was the whole point. So, and McKercher might still be in his team. So, even though you don't see them, okay, just imagine they've just missed the bus. Okay, just think think of it like that, Neil. Uh, so, McKercher might come in this team. So, so may Hurstweight, okay? Because I've got the cash for them. Uh, the cash will... Where's the cash? Okay, well, there is cash. I'll find cash somehow. I'll have to remove Clark and put someone else there and then bring Clark back. But th there's cash from Campbell and the Cadman. I suppose there's your cash there. Cadman and Campbell is your cash. And then I can bring in the other players. I can move Wilson forward. Actually, that's what I can do. Uh, let's move Burgess out. Huh? Burgess out. I'll get some cash. Okay, let's put Wilson over here. Uh, St Kilda. Uh, this works better now. Wilson comes here. All right, now I can get GWS. Okay, and this is going to be... That's uh, Husswaite, okay? He just missed the bus. He's replacing Husswaite for now. So that's another option, okay? So I still got the options are still there. Uh, that could be McKercher or Husswaite, one of the two, because uh, I'll use Campbell's cash with it. So it'll be Campbell and Weir out. If, I, if, I, if for example, I don't use Weir, I can still use, and I probably will use, if Carroll is named on field and not as a sub, I'll use Carroll, because uh, he's got a 65 in the system. So I'm happy to use Carroll. So it'll be Carroll and Campbell uh, cashed out in round three, because they're, they're always going to be sub risks, so I might as well take the cash early. And I'll replace them with Husswaite and probably that Adelaide boy over here, or the North Melbourne boy, whoever whoever's available and has secured uh, a job security. Well, there is one more move that I can make, and um, uh, this move uh, I'm really considering, okay? Uh, these are my three options for my final team. The structure's not changing at all, okay? We're still going to have cheap rookies, okay? Nothing changed there. Now, Sanders, uh, we can't keep there, but if we remove Sanders out, we can put... We're going to bring... 
If you see that I've got no Sanders, no McCurcher, don't panic. They're going to come in later on if I like them, okay? So well, I'm sure I will like them, and um, I'll bring them in soon. Now, but I don't have to start them, okay? Um, I'm using the round zero glitch, okay? I'll get them when I need them. Now, another move that I could do is I got rid of um, two players there. So we got rid of uh, Yo and Sanders, okay? Now, if we move Wilson... Over here. Okay. And then we can... Uh, now, I'm not sure if this actually scores more or less. And now I've got to sort of work it out. Because what I've done is... I had Yo and Wilson scoring for me. So who scores more? Yo and Wilson? Or... Jordan... And Buddha? Okay, now I've got Budrick... Over here, Buddha. Now, if I want, I can still bring back um, Sanders, uh, but I really want to bring back over here. We'll go after Richmond Boy. I think better if I bring Gibkus, take his cash, trade him out, and then use that for Sanders later on, or use Weir's money for Sanders. And there is one more I can show you, which I really like as well. Let's um, remove the new recruits. Gipkus can go as well. Let's put Wilson back in that forward line. Uh, this one, you might like this one. Okay, Wilson back in there. Where's Wilson? Over here. Uh, we're going to bring in the Essendon boy over here. Uh, get rid of St Kilda. And so Reed comes there. Uh, over here we can... Actually, let's do this one first. Over here we can bring in Whitfield. And over here, players I can afford uh, pretty much whoever's playing. So I can put Carroll if he's going to play. And that's another option. Uh, I don't mind this option actually. And... This makes the team look very powerful. Actually, House can stay, we can go. Uh, this gives me a lot of power. Uh, I really like this one. And so virtually, uh, from the first one I showed you, the difference here is Whitfield instead of um, the Gold Coast boy, Flanders. So it's another option, okay? Something I'm going to think about uh, pretty much over, over, over the weekend. I'm in no rush. Because I, I just need to play. Well, I sort of am in a rush because I need, need to decide if I want to start Gipkus or not. So, looks, I would say I'm not going to start Gipkus. Now, I highly recommend uh, you don't do anything as crazy as what you just seen there, okay? And I hope you're still sitting down. You haven't fallen down yet, okay? Um, if you've fallen off the chair, I apologize. Okay, but it's not my fault. I warned you. But uh, you've got to really know what you're doing uh, with this team, Uh to, to continue a team like this. So I highly recommend you stick to your guns, okay, with the team that you've got, and don't don't follow this crazy plan, okay? Because that's why I didn't want to show no one my... I was too embarrassed, okay? I was, I was very shy. I was too embarrassed. I was ashamed to show this team to anyone. Just come and deal. However, the time came, you asked, and I showed. So this is a team that I'm rocking with, Uh as you see there, okay, I don't have the big guns. No, no, well, I do have the big gun. I have the big gun rookies. I've only got the um, uh, the the container, uh, the ones that came from the container from overseas in the shipment. So that's what we're going to rock with. Anyway, uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for joining. And remember one thing. It's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Ciao for now. That's all, folks.